Hey guys, it's peach season. Check these out. These are the first peaches of the year, and we harvested some this week along with the first tomatoes. Now, some of you may not know this, but Clippers has a restaurant on site, and it's a pretty good restaurant. In fact, it's the best restaurant in Vancouver, and I'm not exaggerating. Here in Coston, four and a half hours from Vancouver, is Vancouver's best restaurant, certified by the Globe and Mail. You can look up the review. So I've been doing some filming here at Vancouver's Best Restaurant, um, and of course they get pick of the field. Um, if they need something, they just come out and, you know, there's lots of food here. They, they never run out. And so of course they get to cook with the first peaches and the first tomatoes, and they made a little peach tomato salad out of it, and I got to film it. So that, that was really, really cool because I filmed the peaches and tomatoes coming in, I filmed them making it, and then I filmed it going out to the customer. And if you watch the final movie, I have a clip of what that customer said, but I'm not going to share it with you here. On the topic of tomatoes, you may remember when I was at Amara, I learned a little bit about how to trellis tomatoes, and we've been doing a little bit of that here. Um, but here, trellising is a little bit different. If you remember in Amara, tomatoes were all in a greenhouse, and so they had these uh, twine coming down from the ceiling. and here in the field, obviously, there's no ceiling to suspend the twine from, so they have to do something different. So I've been learning a new technique for trellising tomatoes. And um, I was learning from the other workers, and um, there's a little bit of a language gap. Um, so, you know, they're not sure if I know what I'm doing, and so they just make sure, okay, you see this? Pull this tight. Tight. Tight is what I got out of that. And so my first time doing it, I was really making sure I was pulling it really, really tight. Um, and in fact, I was pulling it so tight that a couple times I pulled so hard that I broke the twine. Um, so uh, that's called learning from experience, um, and I don't tie it quite so tight now. Um, but this is uh, the alternate field technique for trellising tomatoes, which is we're just running a line of trellis twine along both sides of the tomatoes, and we sort of layer it up in sides, and the tomatoes sit between those two lines, and uh, they don't fall over. And that's what you want from trellising. So you probably know by now that the title of the movie that I'm making is The Hands That Feed Us. And there's a lot of backstory to this title, I don't need to tell it all to you, but I've discovered that the title has been affecting the way that I film. Um, I'm finding little bits of hands to, to film and motifs. And so I wanted to do that in these videos too. So I want to do a hands that feed us and show you what's been going on with my hands. So this here is a legacy of the tomato trellising. Um, what was happening is I was pulling the trellis so tight um, that the twine was actually cutting through the skin in my finger. Um, and I actually got through, I, I eventually drew blood um, and uh, realized I needed to use gloves. So there's one of those there and there's also a twine mark there. It's almost gone. What else is going on with these hands? Well, there's a cut there. I don't know where that came from. Zucchini, maybe. Zucchini is really spiky when you harvest it. This here, this is a reminder not to use a hoe without gloves. Um, this happened on the very first day I was at Clippers, and I picked up the hoe, and I used a hoe for about an hour, and I had a massive blister on my, uh, on my hand from not using gloves. So there's a lesson learned. My fingers are actually really clean right now because um, it's the weekend and I haven't worked in a couple days, but usually when I'm coming off the field, all of my nails are just covered in dirt. They got dirt under the nails, dirt on the knuckles. Yeah, it doesn't really come off uh, unless I've showered a couple times. So it's hard to see right now because I've been doing pretty good on my moisturization, but I have this rash that develops every time I uh, do a lot of uh, work in the dirt. And basically my fingers dry out and I've been moisturizing pretty much constantly, uh, which is why it's not angry and red, but uh, if I let it go, uh, eventually it'll crack and start bleeding. So there you go. That's the work that it takes to do farming. It's hard on your hands. So there you go. That's the hands that feed us. And uh, if you want to learn more about The Hands That Feed Us, this movie that I'm making, you can go to thehandsthatfeedus.ca and sign up for our mailing list. Um, if you want to keep watching these videos, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or I'm also posting them on Facebook. You can find it, The Hands That Feed Us on Facebook, and also on Instagram. So, uh, see you next week.